Performance and lameness evaluation are at the very heart of what we do at BW Furlong and Associates. Oftentimes, it's as much art as it is science. It requires both a good eye and years of experience, backed up with state-of-the-art diagnostic equipment. All evaluations begin with a review of the horse's medical history, as well as any current concerns. The patient is then brought to our controlled surface jog strip, where an initial evaluation will take place. Dr. Furlong has over 30 years of experience working on all types of performance horses. He is the veterinarian for the U.S. three-day event team and has been so for the past three Olympics. Additionally, Dr. Furlong is an accomplished equestrian in his own right, having a wealth of competitive riding experience. He is very involved in fox hunting and currently holds the title of Master of Foxhounds of the Amwell Valley Hounds. One of Dr. Furlong's specialties is identifying what is simply normal wear and tear on an animal versus what is an injury. Our jog strip is rubberized to ensure the horses can properly grip the surface with no fear of slipping. There is an area for a straight line evaluation as well as an area for lunging. On the jog strip, both tactile and visual examinations are performed. The tactile evaluation is used to find areas of tenderness, lumps, or swelling. Flexion tests manually stress the joints in the limb and are performed to make a subtle lameness more apparent. These tests can also help to determine the horse's range of motion. During an evaluation, We'll also test for sensitivity in the hoof area, which could indicate bruising or an abscess. Nothing there to account for the severity of his lameness, so we're going to go ahead and do a posterior digital block on him, Patrick, please. Nerve blocks, in concert with jog strip evaluations, are often used to more closely identify the specific area of lameness. When we're doing a lameness evaluation, we will always start blocking at the lowermost part of the foot, usually starting at the heel, so that we can identify which region the lameness or the pain is coming from and we work our way up segmentally up the limb until we find the area where the horse then responds to the block by not showing lameness anymore and then we can zero in on that area with uh, ultrasound or x-ray or MRI or nucleus scintigraphy whatever imaging modality would be deemed most appropriate once we have localized the site of the lameness. In addition to the jog strip we also have a ring with a softer surface which can yield further information about the lameness in question. So it's, it's, um, it's a big puzzle and we just try and pull all the pieces together until we can hopefully come up with a diagnosis and then on the basis of that then maybe try to put a treatment plan together uh, to get the horses back to their competitive careers. Horses don't necessarily need to come to our facility to be evaluated. Dr. Furlong and his staff are available to conduct evaluations where horses board, train, or compete. Our staff are all highly trained professionals and are lifelong equestrians in multiple disciplines. You can rest assured that while your horse is with B.W. Furlong and Associates, it's in very capable hands. <laughs>